Alrighty, gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanek127, and welcome back to another New World video. And guys, if y'all are enjoying the New World content, make sure you are liking today's video and subscribing to the channel if you are new. And let's go ahead and get right on into today's topic. So, for New World Aeternum, especially on console, you have a lot of graphics settings to choose from, and actually more than you may notice. And I want to talk to you guys about, about some of those. Because um, there are definitely you know, some differences you can adjust here with your gameplay. I'm going to tell you guys the settings I recommend. And then I'm going to show you, um, you know, how it looks on a couple different ones. Now, one thing I'm going to definitely recommend that you do is stop the video right here. Make sure your YouTube um, settings are set to at least 1080p 60. So that way you can um, look and see for your own eyes what I'm, what I'm talking about. Because unfortunately, I don't have a frame rate counter. Or anything like that so I'm literally going off of my naked eye but I am positive everyone watching this video if you know a thing about video games you can tell the difference between your with using your eyes between 60 FPS and 30 FPS and even 120 now if we were going anywhere past there I wouldn't even you know I wouldn't even bother making making this video but we're on consoles guys come, come on we, we know what it looks like by now <laughs> okay but anyway, without wasting more of your time, let's go ahead and talk about some of the graphics settings first. And I'm going to show you guys an actual hidden one that you may not know about. So, typically, if you're looking in the settings for New World Eternum, we are playing on Xbox Series X, by the way. So, do with that information what you will. Um, I don't want to, you know, start any console war BS, but by technicality and numbers, the Series X is the most powerful out of three. So, if you're playing on PS5 or if you're playing on a... Series S adjust accordingly if you have issues with the settings I recommend to you. Just want to put that little disclaimer there. But um, typically when you play New World and you want to adjust your graphics, you're probably going to go straight to video, aren't you? And you know, you're going to look at the FPS uncapped, you're going to look at the mode and all that stuff, and you're going to adjust from there and figure you're done, and then of course your field of view. Aren't wrong. There's one more setting that you may not notice is here. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. So if you actually go over to game and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have this preference here called bandwidth mode. Set the bandwidth mode when receiving data from the server. Low values may affect quality. That's telling you, you know, like how how much um the textures are going to load from the server. So probably things more so, I'm not going to say things like the towns and the environment and stuff like that, but probably stuff more so like, other players and their their effects and things bandwidth mode especially if you have good internet i would set this to high if your internet isn't so great i would set it to high play with it see how your game performs and then go from there another thing i would recommend is this client tele telemetry data they tell you right here if you are experiencing network issues while playing changing this setting off may help i would say honestly turn this off it's basically you know just sending um data about your gameplay experience to the dev team and, and all that stuff. So, you, you know, disclaim, the disclaimers you sign at the beginning of a game. Um, I would say, you know, just from the jump, turn that off because they tell you if you experience any network issues with that on, turning it off may help. So clearly that setting's using extra bandwidth in some way. But like I said, we're here to talk about graphics. I was there and I just figured, you know, I'd throw some advice out there. Now, you're going to have a few different modes in terms of frame rate and in terms of um, the regular, you know, quality and everything like that. First and foremost, um, playing on any of the consoles at all, unless you are using a 4k television and monitor and you are all about, you know, just visuals, frame rate doesn't matter to you. I would stay away from the 4k setting. Even if you use 4k at uncapped, it still looks like it's running under 60, like around anywhere between 30 and 40 FPS. It still, it still looks like it's running, you know, low. My recommendation is, you know, for those who want that smoother, that smoother experience, number one, go in your game. I'm sorry I didn't mention this earlier. Turn your camera shake off because camera shake always makes games look more framey, especially when you're doing stuff, at least in my opinion. I hate camera shake, but that's just me. But I would say go with either quality at uncapped or performance at uncapped. If you're really wanting, you know, the best picture with minimal frame drops, Go to quality and cap yourself at 60. That would be, you know, one of my um, one of my best recommendations. But 
We're on quality and uncapped right now. We're going to simply, you know, because we're here in the town, I wanted to take y'all to someplace realistic. I would fight a world boss and make this guide if I could, but screw that. That's going to give me a headache trying to do all that at once. <laughs> but, you know, there's players running around and stuff, and, you know, I just want you to look at my camera motion and stuff like that. You can tell we're running in quality mode. You guys can tell it's a solid high frame rate. You know, there's no dips hitching. Like, you, you can tell by the camera movement. That's the easy, easy way to tell. I'm going to show you the difference right now. Now, take a look, right? When I go in my settings and I change it to um, to 4K to the 4K mode, this is where I'm going to show you guys where that difference comes in. And if you don't notice what 30 FPS looks like by your eyes normally, you'll be able to tell now. Now watch when I do that on the 4K mode. Mind you, uncapped is still there. You see how much rougher that is frame rate wise, especially you know when I run around, see the other players and stuff. Don't get me wrong, the picture quality increases, but especially if you're not using a 1440p or 4K monitor or, or TV, it's not worth it. And you, you can just, you can tell the frames are, the frames are a lot lower, at least, you know, in, in my opinion and from what I can see. Like I said, I'm going through an area where there's a lot of players, so you know, that way I don't give you guys any, any BS results. This is with the 4K mode on. Now, one more thing I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to show you all, you all it with performance. Now, if you're all about that frame rate, go performance and go uncapped, straight up. Let's turn it on performance. As you can see, you're you're going to clearly take a hit in picture quality, but that frame rate is steady. As y'all can see. That bad boy don't look like it's dipping at all. <laughs> like even with the other players around and stuff like that. I know there's not a ton. It's not super, super crowded or anything. But you, I'm sure you guys can get what I'm trying to show you all here. Now, like I said, these settings from, from the beginning, these settings are just my personal opinion. If you got recommendations, feel free to leave them in the comments. But my personal best recommendations for, for graphic settings for New World... I would say run quality uncapped quality that way you know it's a balance between a big decent picture and frame rate I would say quality uncapped or if the drops from trying to achieve something higher than 60 bother you too much cap yourself at 60 quality at 60 this is the sweet spot I would say you know just by um for the sake of simplicity use this but quality uncapped that's my personal recommendation and like I said, if you're pay if you're playing on a PS5 or a Series S, adjust accordingly. I don't know what the graphics options are on the Series S. I know Series S, they, sometimes they turn them off or just limit them, period, because it's not as powerful. I do know the PS5 has the same options as the Series X, but at the end of the day, it's a weaker CPU, so I'm just trying to, you know, set realistic expectations. I'm not trying to start a console war. I'm just, you know, being honest about the facts that are out there about the consoles. But anyway, guys, it's, um, at the end of the day, it's up to you, but quality uncapped, I would definitely say, you know, that's the way to go, along with the setting that I showed you guys at the beginning of the game. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for best graphical settings in New World of Tournament on console, or at least in my personal opinion. If you have a better recommendation or, you know, you, you think you feel like I missed something, like I said, let me know down in the comments below. You enjoyed today's video? Smash that like. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.